Hey, what's up guys? I'm Anush from AndroidRoots.com and here I have the LG G3 and today I'm going to show you how to root it. Now this guide is going to be for Mac and Linux slash Ubuntu computers. If you're interested in a Windows computer, I'll have an annotation somewhere here at the top of the screen and also linked down below in the description for you to actually watch that video if you're interested. So this model or this root method is actually going to work for the AT&T, T-Mobile, all three Korean variants and an open model and also European model. Um, I'll have all the specific model names and specifics down below, but if you're not too sure which model number and model and all that stuff, uh, which one you have, go into settings, then go to general, go all the way down to about phone, and here, and then go ahead and tap on software, and then here you'll be able to see um, your build number. So mine ends in 0C, so that's the T-Mobile variant. Um, like I said earlier, the text for each build number, what version, what variant it is, will be linked down below. So mine's 0C, so mine's a T-Mobile variant, so I'm good to go on rooting my device, but yours will be a little bit different maybe, depending on what variant you have, but that'll be all right as long as, as it is supported. So we need to go ahead and turn on developer options. So go ahead and tap on build number for, for about eight times. Um, as you can see, no need, you are already a developer. Um, since I re-enabled it, it's gonna say that, but tap on it for eight times, and then it'll say success, you are now a developer. You are now a developer. Go and tap on back once, back again, and then you'll see developer options. Tap on it, tap on okay, and then make sure USB debugging is checked marked and make sure developer options is also turned on. It'll be turned on by default, but just make sure. And also USB debugging is checked marked. And we're good to go on that. Now go ahead and plug in your phone via micro USB. So I'll go ahead and plug it in. Um, I also have to fiddle with it. This micro USB, I also have to fiddle plugging it in. Um, so it's plugged in. Um, now go ahead and swipe down from the notification center tap on send images right here or it'll say device manager or device settings something like similar to that um, or it'll say media device actually um, and make sure it is on ptp send images um, make sure it is not set on mtp it will be set on mtp default switch it down to ptp and you'll be good to go uh, leave your phone on and just leave it alone you really don't have to mess with it uh, right now let's go ahead and head down to our mac linux or ubuntu computer and finish this up Okay, so here is my Mac desktop. Of course, we have one folder since we will need it. Um, and as always, I'll have a link down below and it is called purple drake lightzip It'll be linked down below for you to download. What we're gonna doing is just go ahead and double click on it to extract it. And like I said earlier, um, this video is compatible with both Mac, Linux, and Ubuntu users. Um, since Mac is based off of Linux, they're very, very similar in what you have to do. Um, I'm using a Mac since majority of people, uh, you know, if you compare it to Linux, use Mac. Um, so let's go ahead and open up the folder now. Um, and you have two files, um, depending on if you're a Mac or a Linux user. Um, so .sh is for you Ubuntu slash Linux users, while .command is for you Mac users. Now Mac users right away can just go and double click on this and get started. Just go and double click on this if you're on Mac. Now if you're on Linux or Ubuntu, go ahead and right click on .sh, right click on it, click on permissions, and then under permissions, there'll be a little section called execute. Make sure you check mark that. After you check mark it, um, you can double click on the actual file and click on terminal. Um, it's only a five second detour. Um, after that, is everything else is exactly the same. If you're still confused about what I said, if you're on Linux or Ubuntu, I'll have it linked down below for more details. So now we can go ahead and for me, I'm gonna click on dat command since I'm on Mac. Double click on that. And here we go, it launched terminal by itself. Um, let me go ahead and actually move this a little bit over. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and press enter. Um, the text just says make sure you USB debugging on, yada, 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 we already did that already. Um, I already showed you how to do that. So now we're gonna go press enter and make sure your phone is still, still turned on. And as you can see on my LG G3 screen, it says allow USB debugging. Of course we want to, so tap on okay. And now it's gonna go ahead and do its thing. Um, it asked me again, I'll tap on okay again. And now it says waiting for device and it actually went ahead now. Um, so as you can see, it is actually going now. Um, it says waiting for device, it said it detected it. It'll give you the model number and what version it's on or you know what carry it's on. Mine is TMO for T-Mobile. Um, just make sure it's right, it will detect it, so it should be right. Press enter again, and it'll enter into some type of mode. Um, I'm not too sure what type of mode it is. So let's give it a quick sec. Okay, um, it'll do its thing now. So it says waiting for device, let's give it a quick sec. 
Okay, it says, okay, so it's a success. It's all good to go. Um, right now it's on temp root, but of course we want perma root, so we have we can permanently reroute our LGG3. Um, so whenever we re re reboot it or anything, we'll always be rooted. So we're going to press enter again. It says applying perma root. Okay, it says waiting for system to settle. Okay, it says checking, all done. Your phone has successfully been rooted. Um, now we're going to press enter to reboot our phone and we're done. We are literally rooted within minutes. Um, it is that easy for both Mac, Linux, Ubuntu users. Like I said earlier, if you're on Windows, go ahead and click on the annotation or the link below. Okay, you can now go ahead and unplug it since we're done. Now we need to go ahead and go to the Play Store and install Super SU. Okay, we'll go to the Play Store. Um, I already have it open, so here's Super SU. I'll leave it linked down below and a written step-by-step -step guide for this whole tutorial down below. Um, so if you, if you don't know how this app looks like, you can't find it, whatever, uh, it'll be linked down below. So we'll tap on Install. Of course, accept it and let it download. Okay, we'll go and open it up. And no thanks. Now, um, since I was already rooted before, since I did the Windows tutorial earlier, it'll ask you that it needs to update. Go ahead and tap on Normal and you'll be good to go. Um, since I already updated it, um, it's not going to be asking me that. But yeah, um, now let's go ahead and test it out to make sure it is actually rooted. Um, I already went ahead and installed Titanium Backup. So let's go ahead and try that out, Titanium Backup. And there we go, we have Super User Request. We can go and grant it. And Titanium Backup will do this whole thing. It'll check everything is good. And then there we go. So now it says root access um, check mark with a green OK. Um, so as you can see, we're rooted. So it's literally that easy to root the LG G3 with all the supported variants I mentioned earlier. Like I said earlier, it'll be linked down below for what models are supported, which LG G3 variants are supported with this root method. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left-hand corner right there as there's going to be more content coming your way. ROMs, mods, comparisons against the Galaxy S5, which screen's better, which one sounds louder, and so much more videos. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, Plus, which will be linked down below. Like I said earlier, all the files, everything that you need, step-by-step -step directions will be linked down below. Until next time, peace.